Hi, my name is Tori Morgan. I'm a third year PhD student in the Agriculture and Biological Engineering Department at the University of Florida. I am working with Dr. Rafael Munoz Carpena on a global sensitivity and certainty analysis for measuring risk from mercury in the artisanal small scale gold mining region of Colombia. In this video, I want to show you how to create a FAC file. Um, in order to create this fact file, we'll be creating a distribution of inputs through a software called SimLab. And we'll be using that fact, law, fact file to generate more sampling in MATLAB. That will be in the next video. So before we start, you should have um, a few files already created. You should have your jar file. That's the file with your code for whatever model you're running. I am running a hazard quotient model, so mine is a hq.jar file. And then you should have some input files created. So you should have an inputs.dat, an inputs.dat.ptr, and then your inputs.dat.ori. So now I'm just going to open SimLab. And I have a Mac computer, so I'll be using the Wine software. Um, this is free online, and it helps you run um, programs that aren't very compatible with Mac computers. So this is what the interface of SimLab should look like. We'll be creating a new fact file, so we're going to go to New Sample Generation and click Configure. We will click Create New. And you have your name, distribution, and note for your shortcuts in your fact file. So we will add, you can either double click or click the add button. And if you look at my inputs.dat.ptr file, the first variable is BW. You want to make sure that your input factor selection is in the same order as your input file. So I'll go BW, CS, and I'll skip over this numerical value because this is a value that stays constant. That's why it's a numerical um, variable instead of a categorical variable in my inputs file. So first one is BW. It's okay if you have it lowercase or spell out body weight. Um, it just needs to make sure that this input matches the input here and that body weight is body weight and not that this is maybe concentration of water um, being paired with body weight. And I'll make a note in case I forget later what BW means or someone else looks at my code. And then the distribution of my factors is uniform. And you can see you have left value, right value, and the weight. Your left value is your minimum value, your right value is the maximum value um, for your distribution, and then your weight stays constant at one. So for body weight, I'll put four kilograms to nine kilograms. So maybe I'm looking at an infant. Then you wanna click apply. Make sure that you click apply before you click okay, because if you don't, um, it, will, it won't save that distribution. And the software is sensitive in the fact that if you change this to six and click apply, it doesn't change it from four to six. You have to click somewhere else, like on weight, in order to apply it. So just make sure before you click OK that you check this X axis down here to make sure that it's going from four to nine or whatever your desired distribution is. And then you can click OK. So then the next one, we have CS, which is the concentration of HG in soil or sediment. I can say this is from 0 0.01 to 0 0.05. I'm just making up values right here. Apply. You'll want to insert whatever you think your distribution should be here. And you can see it changed it, so we can click OK. And then the next one, is the numerical value. And like I mentioned, you don't include this in your um, sample generation because you're not creating 
a distribution of this input. It stays constant at 0 0.003 because the tolerable daily intake does not change. So I'll skip this and go to the next input, which is CW, or concentration of Hg and water. And maybe this goes from one to 12 parts per million. That's really crazy, but who knows? Click apply. And then OK. Next one is ingestion rate of water. And so maybe I accidentally capitalize um, all of this. That's OK, as long as ingestion rate of water matches ingestion rate of water. And then say 0 0.5 to 1. Click apply. OK. And then the next one is the numerical value again. So we don't add this because it stays constant. We only want to add variables that are changing within our model. Um, so the next one could be days with water. And one to seven for days in the week. And then I click apply and OK. So you keep adding all of your um, variables here that you want to change within your model and the distributions for that. Once you've added all of your variables, you want to go back and check to make sure the distributions are correct and the ones that you desired. Um, I know it can seem tedious and long, but it's really important to double check your distributions so that later when there's an error with your model, you're not scratching your head trying to figure out what it is and seeing that you wasted so much time on a simple thing that could have been double checked. I've had to deal with that pain too many times. So then we want to save this list of factors by clicking on the floppy disk icon. And maybe this is GSUA class dot fac. Make sure you include the dot fac in your file name and that you save it somewhere that will be easily accessible when you look for it in your MATLAB. So then save, accept factors. You can also modify inputs here if you've already created the fact file and you want to change the distributions. Um, you can just pull up the file back, modify input, and change any distribution you want in here. Maybe this is 0 0.01 to 0 0.0. Five, apply, double check, OK. Um, and usually you'd want to save the changes if you modified it. Um, I guess we can click yes. You can save it as a new file or overwrite the existing file. Um, I run a lot of simulations, and I like to go back and check to make sure that those distributions were correct. So I usually save it as a different file. But again, this can clog up the folder, so whatever you need to do. So I'm gonna click cancel. And yeah, now you've created your fact file and this can be uploaded into MATLAB in order to generate the more sampling, which will be in the next video. Thanks for watching.